back and I'm here with a very exciting video. It's the beginning of a new series, but I live in an RV and I don't know if a lot of people know that. And so I'm going to show you what I do during the entire week. And so if you're interested in RV life or you're just wondering what my life is all about, then stay tuned, please, because I have a lot more videos around this subject that I think can help a lot of people and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's do it together. And today, the first thing I did when I got home was make sure that the RV was all put together because that task is the first thing I go towards every single morning. We live in the living room. That's mainly the only area that gets dirty. So that's the only area we really have to keep up with. The bedroom's fine. All I have to do is really make my bed. And now we're on to laundry. <laughs> pigeons I love pigeons I love all types of birds but um here is the laundromat room um there is a restroom a bathhouse which you can take a shower in and a laundromat and they have a pool and a hot tub in another section that's like down there and that's the office but uh keep off embankment I never do nobody's ever told me anything here's my laundry ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves in if we can that's the door that I just came through and like I said there's a pool on that side and um, this is the laundry room so you got all your washers right here and then you have the dryers and they even have like washers for like pet bedding and like oily and dirty clothing that like nobody else wants to mix, mix their good clothes with and of course there's gonna be some that are out of service but all of these are open I've got my laundry let's do this So I'm back in the laundry room. Um, I got my quarters. The laundry is done now, after I put the quarters in. Was coming back to put my clothes in the dryer. Forgot the quarters again. Something about these dang quarters. So I put all the stuff in the dryer and I put the quarters like in here thinking that since there's one slot it goes for the top and the bottom. I clicked one of them and it put all the time on one dryer. So hopefully my clothes are dry. It 
still had 14 minutes, but I don't really care. Somebody else can use the 14 minutes. sick but today is our Saturday morning and we're cooking up some pancakes and we have some chores to do because I didn't pick up that laundry that we left up on yesterday yeah I was not about to do that it was my Friday night it was already late <laughs> and we'll see what today has in store for us breakfast we're nice and full but we had a visitor stop by which was my brother's girlfriend Jeanette and she happened to give us COVID test because we've been a little sick and Brandon is now reading the instructions trying to figure out like what the move is figure out how to do it because I think you have to download an app so we shall see oh, what is going on here guys oh there's some pain here <laughs> I've been gone this whole time without taking one of these damn things yeah, um, this is our first time we've taken the COVID test, and it's been three years since it's happened. That's great, honestly. <laughs> so Brandon and I have completed our chores. Thank you for washing the dishes. Thanks for the laundry. Yep, mm -hmm. got that out of the way. And now we're out and about, went to Home Depot, because we have some travel trailer problems <laughs> we're dealing through. And now... We're at a thrift store, so let's thrift it up. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm back and I'm ready to give you guys a thrift haul with all the pieces that I bought because they're really pretty cool and one of a kind like always. That's what I like about thrifting, but the first one, we got this shirt. I can't really tell what's on it, but I think it looks cool, looks comic-like, and it's black and white, so it totally matches everything. The next one I got is this little bright piece right here. I like that it's mostly black with, you know, the blue and green yellow color, um, and then it has a little hole right there in the middle, so it's kind of cute. It's form-fitting, but not, like, too tight, and it's, like, what are these called? Sleeveless. So I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone because I don't normally do sleeveless. I like my sleeves. I like my long sleeves, especially. And speaking of sleeveless, we've got this like crop top thing going on. So this fit really good. We shall see if I wear it. Hopefully I get to it this summer. And then I got this beautiful thing right here um it's got like all these rhinestones and i'm totally into like collared shirts love it like if i could wear more polos i would and then i got this piece right here and i love it it's like black and it has like the ribbing so it's like a stretchy shirt i don't know if you can tell but i don't know it's a different pattern and it's really thin and lightweight and it really fits nice. So I'm excited to wear it again. And then I got this piece right here, which is like, um, what do you call it? A vest and I can wear like long sleeves underneath or like in the summer, maybe wear like a short sleeve shirt underneath or just wear it like this. But uh, I really like it. It's like this gray blue color it's really nice and it's cute and it fits really well. This thrift haul, I got a lot of stuff that I didn't think I was gonna get. 
and I'm really excited to wear it all. And last but not least, I got this t-shirt. It's from Zara, and on the tag it says it's in the women's art collection. So, yep, that's what it looks like. I think it's really cute and unique. And it actually shrunk in the wash. It was a medium, but now it's like a small size, so it totally works. Did not think that was going to happen or work out, but yeah, now it's actually the size I wanted it to be. Sounds like a storm outside, but it's actually not raining that hard. Last night it was windy, but I wasn't expecting rain today, so I don't know where this came from. <laughs> but I do think that it's my grandpa because he just passed away and it makes me happy and sad at the same time, but he's with my grandma and they've been married for over 50 years, so I'm happy that they're together sad that I can't ever be with them again, but I know they're watching me. I'm sorry. This is a happy moment. And the rain sounds really calm. It's different than the normal days that we have in Oklahoma. It rains every now and then, but it's not like Seattle. So whenever it rains, I get really excited.